Hello and welcome to this R tutorial. So today we're going to implement our second nonlinear regression model. It's going to be the SVR support vector for regression. So let's do it. We're going to use our regression template and you're going to see how it's going to be so easy. So let's start by doing the basics. Set the right folder as working directory. So we'll go to machine learning AZ part two regression and then support vector regression. Right, that's the right folder. All good. Let's click on set as working directory to set the folder as working directory. Great, and now we can start. So we're gonna take our regression template and we're going to take everything from here to here, copy and paste it in our SVR model. Here we go. And now we just need to change a few things. So let's start by changing the basics. We're gonna replace regression model here by SVR. Okay, and same here. SVR results, okay, and same here. All right, that was the easy step. And now let's get to the interesting step. So this interesting step is of course to create our SVR regressor. And we are creating it here. So I'm going to remove this. And now let's create this regressor. It's gonna take three or four lines as usual. It's gonna be very simple. We're gonna use a function, which is the SVM function very simply because the SVR you know is a support vector machine algorithm, but for regression, that's why we call it SVR. And therefore we're just taking it from the SVM function and you will understand why perfectly. So first let's import the required package because this function is contained in a package, which is the E1071 package. So let's go to our packages here and let's check if we have it. So I have it because of course I used it before, but you might not have it. So in case you don't have it, I'm going to type this line here that you will need to execute to install this package. So you type install that packages here and then in the parenthesis and in quotes, you type the name of the package, which is E1071. All right, and then you just select this line and execute and this will install the package. I'm not gonna do it because mine is already installed and therefore I'm going to put that in comment. I just pressed command plus shift plus C. All right, and now let's uh, actually also add this line library and in parenthesis E1071, not in quotes. And this will select automatically the package here, E1071, because this will not always be selected. But by including that in your script, you will be all fine. This will always be selected. Okay, and now let's start creating our SVR regressor. So as usual, we're gonna start by defining our regressor, regressor, and then equals. And then as I mentioned before, we're gonna use the SVM function, which is actually this, and then in parentheses. And now let's press here F1 to have a look at the arguments and see what we need to input. So the first argument is formula. So you start to know perfectly what it is. Of course, the formula is our dependent variable which is remember salary and then tilde. I just pressed Alt N and then a dot here. And the dot specifies that we are taking all the independent variable of our data set. We actually have one independent variable, which is the level independent variable. So we could also type here level, but most of the time we use the dot because of course we have a lot more than one independent variable. But as a reminder, I'm taking one independent variable here so that we can clearly see the visual graphic results of the different nonlinear models that we're building. Okay, so now let's add the second argument. So I'm adding a comma here and then next argument. So the next argument is data. Okay, I guess you know what this data argument will be. It's going to be, of course, our data set. Data set here because we did not create any training set or test set. You know, before we used the training set here as the data, but here we don't have any training set. So of course we're gonna take the whole data set because we want to make very accurate predictions. Okay, and now finally, most important argument. Well, all the arguments are important, but the most relevant for this section about SVR is actually the next argument we are about to input. So this argument is actually not X or Y. These are optional arguments. The most important argument I was just talking about is this one, the type. Because this argument type will actually specify if you're making an SVM model, which is used for classification, or an SVR model, 
which is used for regression. So here, since we're building a nonlinear regression model, we will choose the EPS regression type. We could choose actually EPS regression or new regression, but as you can see, we want to take the most common one, the EPS regression. And if we were making a SVM model for classification, then we would have chosen C classification here. As you can see, C classification is the default type for a classification. So in short, if you want to do regression, you choose type equals EPS regression. And if you want to do classification, you choose type equals C classification. And actually, in the next part about classification, we will make an SVM model. And for this specific model, we will choose the C classification type. Okay, but here we are doing regression, so we choose the EPS regression type. So let's input it. I'm going to type here type equals EPS regression. All right, and you need to put that in quote. 